Hi, I'm Dr. Ellen Diamond. I'm a clinical psychologist here at Depression Recovery Centers, and I oversee all the screenings and cognitive behavioral work that we do here with the ketamine-assisted treatment. In more modern thinking, we understand that the nature of depression is complex and often involves both genetic predisposition and the individual's biochemical functioning, as well as whether or not the stressors in the environment have been severe enough to produce the depression response. We also understand now different parts of the brain that are involved in depression, and that has changed dramatically the approach that we're taking for the treatment of this. As we've learned more and have greater understanding about the structures of the brain, we've learned new ways and new ideas as how to intervene with problems in the brain. So before, when the SSRIs, the Prozacs, and the Zoloft's that are so popular nowadays first came about, the understanding was that if we increase the serotonin in certain areas of the brain, that will produce greater feelings of well-being and reduce depression. Current scientific thinking now indicates that there are structures in a different region of the brain that are more responsible for emotional control and activation. They don't use serotonin. Their neurons, their cells respond to different neurochemicals such as glutamate. Ketamine is one of the drugs that works along that glutamate system. So in addition to actually affecting the structure of the neuron, the ketamine is effective in a region of the brain that we now understand is where emotional control and well-being comes from, not the serotonin-sensitive neurons that we've been treating for so many years. This is why the drug companies are all working on developing new medications that are ketamine derivatives in order to impact that area of the brain. Traditional treatment of depression works for some people, but for many, many people, the Prozac and Zoloft's are just not effective in terms of alleviating their depression or the side effects may be too intolerable to allow them to continue treating with those medications. For people like that, ketamine offers a very welcome and viable alternative. The best way to treat with ketamine is utilizing an intravenous, and most primary care doctors and outpatient psychiatry offices are not equipped to do that, nor are they very familiar with the drug. Here at Depression Recovery Centers, we utilize trained anesthesiology staff who are very familiar with the drug and its treatment, and we serve as a bridge between the psychiatric community that is familiar with depression and the anesthesiology community that is familiar with ketamine to provide relief for people who have not been able to get relief with more traditional treatment.